working on our parabola for our solar water heater. Lucy Hernandez and her classmate Brianna Gilkey are drawing up plans to create a solar water heater. If we put the foil on like flat, it'll just reflect off like other places and we need to reflect to the water so we can heat it. In another corner of the room, students are busy soldering away. So we're hooking up a solar panels to a, to a cell phone to create a solar charger. They are working on their end of the year showcase projects for the Green Energy Technology Program at Edison high school. This program started about three years ago in partnership with California Department of Education and pg &E. The goal to get more students interested in the fields of science, technology, energy, and math. It is an area of study that many students just don't choose. They chose us to be in it because we didn't necessarily want to be in this class. Lucy and Brianna are both sophomores and say they didn't know much about STEM or this program. But then once we got in it, it was like, oh cool, and it's 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 a good program because it's like, you know, we, we're in the program with the same people and it teaches, yeah, it teaches you a lot too. In an effort to keep students interested, Edison and Fresno City College offer kids the opportunity to take college courses in the same field while they're still in high school. Instructor Taylor Vinston says the dual enrollment program offers a lot of benefits to students. They get, they get the chance to experience college level courses while they're in an environment where they have the support structures in place to help them out. Students come into the program as sophomores and by the time they're seniors, some have made the decision, like Edison High senior Alex Simpson. I want to be an engineer, uh, mechanical or electrical. Or they are like Javante Hicks, who's headed to George Mason University in the fall. Green Academy gave me another aspect of science to look at, um, such as production and science and how science is used in the production of different things and how science affects our everyday lives. This is the kind of end results educators are hoping for. It's amazing. I'm a science geek, so of course it speaks to my heart, but uh, it's just there's so many potentials and there's so many great jobs to be had. And why not our kids?